And here we are. Just three games remain in the NFL season. And that is, well, we know what two of them are. That is the AFC Championship game and then the NFC Championship game this Sunday. And what we need to know this Sunday is going to be, you know, very, very great. One of, the, one of these four teams are going to be the champions of the NFL, you know, at the end of the season, obviously. But which ones will come out and go to the Super Bowl and then, you know, we'll find out you know, who will be the champion after the Super Bowl. In any case, in any case, Bills, Chiefs, Packers, Bucks. Bucks Packers is first up on the docket, and what we need to know about this game is very simple for the Packers. Very powerful offense, very powerful defense, stepped up mightily these past few weeks. They have stepped up big time, you know. They have been doing what they've needed to do all season long, and that is, you know, get stops when they need to, you know, force turnovers when they need to, and just play good football. And, of course, the offense is the focus. High-powered offense with the Packers, led by Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams. Very powerful offense for the Packers. Can the Bucks, you know, get you know the defense? Because the last time these two teams faced off, remember, there have been several rematches in these playoffs this year. And the last time these two teams faced off, the Bucks blew out the Packers. This was this was the Packers' first loss of the season, and it was not even close. I mean, Aaron Rodgers threw a pick six in that game, and then threw another pick in that game. So you know, it it was very telling. Uh, you know, depending on which Bucks defense we get, you know, Vita Veda is coming back too for this game as well. What Bucks defense are we going to get? Because sometimes the Buccaneers have been pretty inconsistent. You know, they have performances like that, and then they have performances like games against the Bears or the football team where they just don't play as well. Not, you don't need, you're definitely not going to need that. And of course, the old man, Tom Brady. Leading his troops, leading his all-star crew into the NFC Championship game. Bucks back in the NFC Championship game for the first time since they won that Super Bowl, you know, all the way back when. And now it's going to be interesting to see, you know, because I mean the Bucks are offense too, you know, they've been looking anemic at times, but you know, when they get going, they get going. Who do I think is going to win this game? That is to be determined. I really don't know. It could. It is a toss-up for me. As far as the AFC Championship the game after the NFC Championship game goes, Chiefs, Bills. It seems that Patrick Mahomes is clear to play. I'm unsure about that right now. Uh, but apparently he has been cleared. If not, then again, I don't know because there hasn't been anything on this all week at all. So we don't know. I, I really don't know. If he's been cleared or not. But if he is cleared, that's going to be a big sign. Because the last time the Chiefs and the Bills faced off it was on a Monday. Monday afternoon. And the Chiefs toyed with the Bills for three hours. We're talking we're talking physically dominated them on both sides of the ball. But it's a different Josh Allen now. It's a different Josh Allen. It's a different Buffalo Bills. The Bob Diggs has been playing lights out. Josh Allen has been playing lights out. The defense, Travis White and company have been playing lights out. What in the world are the Chiefs going to do? Because they have looked, you know, they've looked all right the last few weeks. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. They've looked all right the last few weeks. You know, they haven't really been scoring, you know, the way you think they'd be scoring. And, you know, again, very talented offense. Kelsey, Mahomes, Hill, Miko Hardman, I mean, just talented everywhere. You, you got a stable of backs, you know, Le'Veon Bell, you know, Clyde edwards Alaire, the rookie, and that defense, the Huddy Badger, Frank Clark, Daniel Sorensen, Dirty Dan Sorensen, back there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for the Bills to get some momentum, you know, if that defense plays well like they have been all season long. And as far as the Bills' defense goes, they have to they have to get all over the field. If, it, if Chad Henney is 
indeed going to lead, you know, the the the, the, um, the Chiefs attack out there. Uh, pretty much expect the same things. I'm expecting the same things because I mean, look at what he did last week against the Bills. I mean, not the Bills, the Browns. You know, late in that game last week when he had to come in for Patrick Mahomes due to his concussion. So things could get very interesting if Chad Hitting starts, but if Mahomes starts, if he does indeed start, which I assume he is, I mean, he might not again. I don't know yet. We don't know until we get to Sunday. But it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Both these games are gonna be fun. What we need to know now is, you know, who the final two teams are going to be. Who will advance for the AFC? Who will advance for the NFC? And, you know, what I'm thinking, again, you know, I'm thinking both these games will be a toss-up. But if I had to do a prediction for the Super Bowl, it would be Chiefs versus Packers. I mean, it's, it's, it's fitting. It's been 50 years since the first one. You know, the 50th. You know, 50 years since the first Super Bowl, 50th anniversary of that very first Super Bowl. And, um, yeah, uh, I, I like that. I like that a lot. You know, that, that'd be fun. That'd be fun to see. But if not, if that doesn't happen, you know, if the Bills or the Bucks were to get into the Super Bowl, then I'd be fine with that too. But what do you think? What do you guys think? Well, who's going to the Super Bowl? Who's not going to the Super Bowl? Again, you know, comment down below, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, click the notification bell, and I'll see you on Saturday night, college basketball stuff. See you then.